Hello, I'm Zoe Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to do the no makeup makeup look. Skincare is super important and so is your moisturiser. So I'm going to apply this gorgeous moisturiser all over my skin and my neck. So you want your skin to feel and look juicy and gorgeous. It's quite a good idea to apply an oil over the top to sort of seal it all in and nourish it at the same time. Because as you can see, my skin looks just gorgeous and glowing and it is the great start for any kind of no makeup makeup look. So choosing the foundation you're going to use is really important. Actually, a skin tint is far, far better than any kind of foundation or long wear or anything like that. You want something light and gorgeous and dewy. I'm actually using the Ilia skin tint, which everyone's going mad for at the moment. It's very, very light. I'm just going to put a little bit into my hand. I'm just going to press it in and then sort of move it around a tiny bit with my fingertips which gives a much, much lighter finish and definitely something I do a lot for red carpet. I'm just going to buff in the edges with a brush now just to get that extra bit of coverage where I need it. This would be the moment that you would put concealer. I'm just going to build up the coverage with this product. I did actually choose a shade that was a, my colour but a tiny bit more intense just to add a little bit of warmth as well because I do think that's really important when it comes to the no makeup makeup look is looking healthy and that is sometimes with a little bit more color a little bit more of a sort of a tanned look. I know that this is meant to be a no makeup makeup look but as you can see I have absolutely hardly any brows whatsoever so I always fill them in whatever happens. I'm using the Kosas Brow Pop and I love this product. It's so good because it's such a small little lead in there. So my eyebrows are on and I'm going to go in with a little bit of an eye. So it needs to feel very natural. I've chosen a shade that is actually kind of purpley brown because I really want the green in my eyes to pop. So you can see that it sort of melds into the most perfect bit of creamy eyeshadow and you can see how easy it was to put on. I always curl my lashes there because that's also quite important for the no makeup makeup look. A little smudge of brown liner just to thicken up the base of the lashes. I'm using the Victoria Beckham one. I'm not looking for anything too perfect. It has to be just a little hint and not all the way along, just on the second half of the eye and right up into the lash. If it feels like it's becoming too prominent, just blend it into the eyeshadow. Now for a bit of mascara, I'm going black, but really you could go brown. I'm applying my mascara deep into the root of each lash. I'm not doing a really big covered lash. I just want it to feel very fresh and a little bit feathery. Just going to do a second coat. This time I'm actually going to remove most of it from the wand, just for some extra drama. A little bit of bronzer, I'm going to mix these two together. So I'm going to apply it outwards, around the edge, under my chin, for a little bit of definition. Going in with a slightly darker shade. Blusher has to be like the most important part of the no makeup makeup look because you want to look fresh and really, really flushed. So application is on the apples of your cheeks, just blending it up across the cheeks. And then what's left on your fingers, just over the bridge of your nose. This is the Balm Essential by Chanel. And I use it on every single makeup that I ever do. And I'm just applying it just in this small area here. It is your highlighter, but it's a glossy highlighter. It has no pigment in it. And I'd say that's one of the most important parts of the no makeup makeup look is, is that nothing has shimmer in it. Everything is a pure color a matte or a cream. I've chosen a lip liner that's very, very close to my natural lip color. And I'm gonna use it just to fill in the edges and to just pump up the color a little bit. The final bit is choosing your lip color. This is a gorgeous sort of plumping, very glossy lip color in an hourglass. It's a perfect kind of slightly elevated no makeup makeup look. And this is it, 